Hello everybody and welcome to Peglin. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen this game already around the roguelike sphere, but basically this is a roguelike that is based on the game Peggle and it is truly amazing. I've been playing it a bit in my free time. I was debating whether to play it on the channel, but I've had a few requests to play it and so I will. So let's jump in. And yeah, this is a really, really interesting game. So to start off with every run, you get to grab a relic. So we can go with enemies don't get their extra turn for the first reload. Um, attacks apply one blind, blind enemies have a chance to miss, and flying enemies are attacked horizontally, allowing for better targeting. Let's go with that, that sounds pretty good. Um, we're just going to jump in and start our first run here. This is the full version of the game. The game does have a pretty decent demo, but this is the full version. And the game is doing really well at the minute. Um, it seems like a lot of people are playing it, and hopefully it means it'll get a lot of updates. This uh, game has a lot to offer, but... It doesn't have tons of content yet, but that's because it is early access. It's going to be growing as we go. But anyway, I'll kind of explain for those of you that haven't seen this game before what we're doing. If you haven't seen Peggle, essentially the idea is to hit all these little pegs um, to try and clear the end of the level. This one is similar, but it's a little different. Instead, each peg is worth a certain amount of damage. As you can see here, regular peg is worth one. Once we hit crits, which are these ones here, it'll be worth seven each. Um, and they will deal damage based on the HP of the enemies here. We have to clear out all the enemies, including the upcoming ones, before the stage is cleared and we move on to our next area. After that, we could heal, upgrade one of our uh, orbs here that we have right here, or obtain a new orb, or even sometimes obtain an additional relic. To start with, you start with four basic orbs. The Dag Orb, which is a regular one that has really high crit damage, and then three regular stones, which are so slightly lower damage but have no special effects. You can use the delete here to remove an orb, uh, but the, the caveat is when you run out of orbs, you have to reload and that gives the enemies an additional turn. So for the first thing here, we want to try and hit a crit. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of a bouncy bounce here. That was quite literally the most awful hit anyone has ever seen in their life. But we do have, I should say, the ability to hit bombs. We missed them. So we did very low damage there. But we do have these, which are refreshes, which will reset all of these pegs on the entire board, which we kind of want to be hitting a little bit later on. We don't need to hit them quite yet. And that, like I said, we also have these bombs here. Bombs are a way of dealing mass damage to the entire uh, set of enemies on screen. They deal 50 damage to everything on screen. So ideally, you want to wait until everything's on the board, which we've done. Uh, I'll grab a crit there. So now we get extra damage. You have to hit a bomb twice to ignite it. So one sets the fuse and the second actually blows up the bomb you can see that now the enemies have gotten quite close which is slightly problematic because if we don't kill this one in the next turn he will get two hits on us because of the reload uh we get a refresh there and come on get the bomb get the bomb ah oh, we did kill this guy though so that means they'll only get one hit on us here both the bat and this green slime will get a hit on us there's two damage uh we we did get a reset so we're okay on that front we really need to get a bomb if we can so let's aim for one Oh, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I have played this game a little bit. I've got about five or six hours in it so far. I've been playing it a lot in my free time. I'm really going to have to go for this bomb now, aren't I? Oh, my lord. There you go. So, uh, additionally, bombs also give your... Um your peg, a hu uh, sorry, your ball, your orb, a huge blast in a random direction, allowing for a lot, lot more uh, airtime. Unfortunately, I am not doing great right now. I'm losing quite a lot of HP. I'm going to try and hit the crits when I can, but... At the minute, I just keep falling straight in. Eight damage. Ooh. At least it killed the bat. Oh, God. That's a lot of damage. You see that reload there? They essentially got double all of the hits that they did. And with each stage that we go to, the layouts of this arena will change. So we'll get different layouts for different areas. Uh, we'll grab another crit there. We don't actually need the crit. We only need ten damage. So there you go. We got it. And we get our kill. And now we get to choose our first new orb. So we can take the Pult, uh, Pult Orb Geist, which uh, it passes through pegs while traveling upwards and attacks all enemies, but it has very low damage. We can take the Refresh Orb, which will refresh every six hits, or the Orbism, which is um, it's heavier, but it also triggers each peg hit two times. So I'm going to grab that one because I quite like it. It's quite weak to start, but once you upgrade, it gets a lot better. We can check our map here to see which way we want to go. I think we want to go right because we've got elites here. You'll notice that the map is very, very similar to a Slay the Spire type map. Please go in there. No! No! If it goes in the fire, I take damage. God damn it. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. 
There you go. We got it. <laughs> Unfortunate taking a little bit of damage there. But yeah, I'm really excited to see this game grow. And this game does have a modding scene. It's not very robust right now, but I do want to look into the modding scene soon because it is very interesting. One great thing, by the way, about this orb here, if we can make this work. Yes, we can. It hits bombs twice because it hits every peg twice. So it instantly destroys bombs, which makes it incredibly powerful early game. And obviously it does pretty decent damage as well. We will try and hit ignite both these bombs at least. We don't need to set them off. Okay, even just setting off one's pretty good because we need all the enemies on screen really before we set off the next one. You'll notice as well that this stage was actually laid out to look like these little blobby dudes, which is pretty funny. We'll go for that. And there's another bomb. Okay, this should kill both of these guys. That's definitely going to kill them. We got all three bombs there. I love the way he throws them out. It's beautiful. Uh, and now we can actually upgrade an orb. So, we can upgrade one of our stones, which would just give it a little bit extra damage. We could upgrade our dag orb to get 10 times on crits. Or we could upgrade this to hit each peg three times, which I'm going to do. I think earlier you can upgrade that, the better. We're still moving right here, I believe. Yes, we are. So, I'll try to do that. Good, good. Those different upgrades where hitting the pegs between each areas will have more of an effect. It depends what you end up getting. Okay, so we got Dagob off the bat. If we can get a crit here, then we'll use it. Indeed, we can. Unfortunately, not a great one. We did get the same layout as the uh, last area, but that is going to be a lot of damage on that dude. And we've got um, a few different colored blobs here. The di I think different ones have different health numbers as well as different damage values. I am going to play the uh, game of just going for the bombs here because early game, going for bombs is really good. We also got a crit as well. Very lovely. And that bomb's going to finish you, and then the second attack will hit you. We can get some different attacks that have piercing and various things like that, uh, but we don't need those yet. I'm just going to go for the refresh here and see what happens. As you can see, we're doing three hits per peg. And I hope I hit the bomb. Unfortunately, I didn't. Oh, I hit the other bomb, though. That's okay. And we see we get a pretty good amount of damage, as well as a bomb. So that's going to kill the front two enemies. The big slime that's got a lot more HP is dead. And then we've only got a slight bit more damage to deal to these two bats and we're good. Of course, as you can see as well, the bombs do not refresh. We're not getting any refreshes on the bombs. There is an upgrade that allows that to happen, but at the minute we don't have that. We, because we don't have any overflow damage right now, we only need five damage. So we don't want to hit any bombs for that dude, but it would be nice to hit one for this guy. Um, I'm actually going to switch here and go for this because we can get a guaranteed crit here. You can get two guaranteed crits. Unfortunately, crits do not stack unless you have specific items. But that is going to be just enough to get him down on the next turn. There you go. There you go. He's dead. A nice turn. And we're going to upgrade again. And we're going to upgrade this a third time. So now it triggers everyone four times. So this time I'm going to go for the chest here. A chest is going to give us a guaranteed item. And then we can head right to go to the elite if possible. So we get, you are immune to damage while reloading. That's very useful for us. Uh, I did say I was going to go right, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good, 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 good. You can get extra stuff by clearing those balls, but it's, it's pretty difficult. And it also means that you don't really get to choose where you're going to go. Okay. So this is actually not a great orb to get off the back because there's only one enemy on screen right now. But we will at least try and kill him. I'm hoping I don't hit the bomb, but it looks like I'm going to. Unfortunately, I did. We get a lot of damage out of that turn, but the bomb isn't super useful because we were going to kill him regardless. There's a little bit of a waste there, but this is kind of one where there's a lot of pegs. You can deal a lot of damage, but you can only really attack one enemy at a time. We got exactly 80 to kill that enemy. Very nice. And then getting a crit here is unlikely, so I'm going to switch to the basic stone. I actually did play a hell of a lot of the regular Peggle game. I don't know how many people out there have played actual Peggle, but me and my girlfriend love Peggle. We used to play it all the time. So I, I wouldn't say I'm good at earning our experience because you can't re really be that good at it. Or at least I don't think you can, but um, I played it enough to be okay at it. So this game comes naturally to me somewhat. Uh, unfortunately, our refreshes are in somewhat precarious positions to grab. Oh, doesn't matter. You got it. This will kill you. Good, good. Sadly, no bombs left. I will grab the crit, though, at least. Not quite enough. Our crits do move with each turn as well, as you can see. We got another crit there, and this is with our dag orb as well, so the damage is going to be incredibly high. Not that it matters, because this guy only has 54 health. We would have killed him nonetheless. 
but 210 damage is quite a lot. Quite a hefty amount. So we'll go for another crit here. That was a terrible hit. <laughs> Absolutely horrendous. I just need the refreshes. I need to clear space to get to them. Ah ha ha, you can't hit me. Okay, let's go for this. Try and get the refresh. Not quite, but we did deal 38 damage. 40 damage even. It's pretty good. I tried to hit the crit there and didn't realize there was a peg right in front of my face. It's going to be like one or two more turns. We lose a little bit of health here. We might need to heal later on, but otherwise we're looking fine. There you go. We got him. We got him. Okay. We're still going to upgrade though. I'm going to go for my dag orb, get the damage there. And we go for our elite. So elites are going to deal more damage, have more HP, but we do get a relic as a reward. So we want to be trying to kill these whenever possible. So let's see what we can do here. So we do have the Minotaur. Minotaur is kind of a hard one. Um, I think I'm going to go for this first. That wasn't a great throw, I'll be honest. But this should yield us a decent amount of damage. I was hoping we could hit a crit. But honestly, 64 damage is pretty good off the bat. Ooh, we definitely want to discard here because we've got a guaranteed crit. And that's 10 times damage, remember? So that's 120 damage there. Do you remember he's going to move again on our... Um... Oh, that's another crit. He's going to move again on our reload. So he's going to get a bit closer. But I think we're actually pretty good to kill this guy before he even reaches us. He does do a lot of damage. I think he does like 10. But with this crit, he should be dead, I think. Oh, okay. One, one more orb is going to kill him. He's very, very weak here. So as long as we don't completely mess this up, he's dead. Okay, it doesn't matter. I completely messed it up. He's on 6 HP now. Let's just guarantee this. There you go. And he's dead. Luckily, he didn't even hit us. Beautiful. And let's, let's see what relic we end up getting here. We also get to upgrade an orb as well. So we'll upgrade our dag orb again. So we can get... This where refreshes also count as crits or deal extra damage the longer our orb is in flight. I'm going to go with refreshes also count as crits because that is very, very useful. It basically doubles the amount of crits on the board. And I very much like that. Right. Next elite fight. I'm going to go here. This will definitely hit the bomb as well, which is lovely. Good damage and a bomb hit. Not quite going to kill any of the enemies, but ve getting very, very close. It's actually slightly annoying it didn't kill any enemies, because that means that uh, this enemy is going to take uh, a lot of damage that's not going to do anything. Oh, unless we can hit the bomb. Yes. Okay, that doesn't matter then. Now the bomb's going to kill it, and the excess damage from this rock will hit the enemy behind instead, which is far preferable. Okay, no more bombs left. God damn, our crit does a lot of damage. Would have been better to hit the enemy behind there, but that's fine. We're hitting so many crits right now that we don't have to worry. In fact, oh, not quite. 92. This enemy's going to get another hit on us, but I think he's dead in the next turn here, right? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. Ah, 52. Very close, but not quite. I'm going to discard this because I want guaranteed... Uh, kill here. There you go. And we don't actually need to upgrade here because the stones are just not really worth upgrading. Bounces contributes damage. That's the little thing. These things at the bottom, the circles. Or we can get post battle healing is increased by 2% for each orb in your deck. I'll go with that. I don't think it's very useful right now, but okay. This is kind of tricky. Let's have a look at our map. Uh, it doesn't actually matter which one we go for here, so... As long as we don't land in the middle, it doesn't matter. And we get another relic here. We haven't seen any question marks yet. These question marks can be like little random events you can do. God damn, there's so many elites on this path. The board will contain an additional refresh. That's awesome. And we're going back to the elites again. It is risky to do this many elites because our health isn't amazing. But the more items we can get, the better for later on. Um, so yeah, we'll just go for a, a basic crit here. We don't, we don't really want to hit any of the bombs if possible. We would rather um, let the let the big boy, this guy, get on screen first. 
So I'm just going to kind of take my time and, and try to avoid the bombs. It's not always possible. Okay, we've hit literally all of them. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We will still kill a lot of these guys, but it is not the greatest because it does mean that now this guy with who has, I believe, 400 health. Yeah, there you go. Isn't going to take any bomb damage, which is not preferable. Let's grab this. The fact that refreshes are crits also makes our dag orb way better. Like, way, way better. There you go, we got the bomb as well, that's awesome. So this is actually really good, because now we're going to get 338 damage on this guy. Because the bomb hit, we're not going to hit any of these enemies in front, and he's left with just 12 HP. Pretty incredible. And we did 156 anyway, so there you go. Uh, we still don't have any upgrades we need to make, so I'm just going to heal again. Every shot fired as a crit when below 30% HP. Additional crits, that's so good. Okay, this, basically every time we get um, more than one crit, it's going to increase our damage. Now, you may wonder, why is that so good? For one, we have a lot of crits on the board, but for two, we have the orb that can hit one crit four times. So, when we hit one crit four times it's going to be pretty crazy but even just hitting a crit multiple times can be really good you'll see once we get down to this red orb here as long as we can hit a crit with it it's going to be very beneficial to us but this guy should die pretty quickly here if there's a really easy crit yeah i guess i'll go for this so you'll see we'll hit this crit four times and now this thing is doing crazy damage it hardly hit any pegs and it did 140 damage it's it's insane you're dead. That was that was very quick. Very, very quick indeed. Lovely. Now we get to upgrade knob. This is just upgrade, so I guess we're just upgrading a stern. We'll contain additional two refreshes. Yeah, we're definitely taking that. This is kind of insane. Okay, so we got our first question mark here. First one on the board. Let's see what we end up getting. And then we almost we're almost at our boss here. Embrace the lightning. This will give us a lightning orb level two. Oh, level two. Wow. So we could grab the lightning or we could run away. Some of the some of them like will take away orbs. Some of them will give you orbs. Some of them will give you special relics and special orbs and stuff. There's a lot of different ones. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> 571. Oh god, you got destroyed. Damn. Not that much damage, but exactly 60, enough to get a kill. Not a great rock, but I was just kind of clearing that one out of the way so that we could get more with this bad boy. This isn't great, actually, because this guy, this guy, this orb is very heavy. Okay, that's good. As long as we hit a crit, I'm happy. That's enough damage for me. We did 70. So the ball lightning is kind of an interesting one to grab here. So I'll, I'll show off what that one does first. So this one can target any enemy on screen, which means we can like select. So we'll select this guy um, and it will hit everything in that column and it will zap additional t uh, pegs when it bounces near them. So it won't just hit the peg that we hit. It'll pick, uh, hit ones near it too. So we did a hundred and something damage and there you go. We killed that guy in one hit. Even though he's further away, he had higher HP. It was better to go for him first. Oh, ho, ho. look how beautiful that is. A 96 kills the bat. We do need some sort of piercing. Piercing would be really good. Something to maybe add additional bombs to the board. That is a few different few different relics that can do that. That's okay. Look at that huge damage already. Absolutely nuts. Not that we needed that much damage at all, but still, it's funny. Then we should be able to get you with this. There you go. That's enough. And we're nearly at full HP as well here. So we'll grab our lightning orb and upgrade that. And then we'll go straight for our big boss boy. So this is our first boss. This is uh, the slime boss. There's two bosses per stage. There's some very interesting ones. I'm just going to pause real quick here. I apologize. I clicked back on the screen to unpause and fired my uh, fired my orb. So I unfortunately fired my lightning orb in an area that I didn't actually want it, but it did okay damage nonetheless, actually. Um, so we can try and get in here and get these bombs 
or we can try and get into the center. I prefer to stay on the outside if I can. And we've also got these slime based orbs that, that slow our momentum. They can be very difficult to deal with, but they're not all too bad. So this time we'll go for the refresh. Unfortunately, a refresh crit doesn't stack. So hitting a refresh multiple times doesn't give us multiple crits. So that didn't do all that much damage. Also, we got another crit, which didn't actually do as much good. Okay, this is a little bit of a harder one that we're having uh, here. A little bit more of a struggle. Again, I was hoping for a crit here, but as long as we can get a bomb, I'd be pretty happy. We got one bomb. Oh, not quite two, not quite two. Our orb did incredibly low damage, but it's an additional 50 on top. As you can see, this guy has 720 health. Okay, damn it. Not doing great damage here, but we're... Okay, he has eaten us. This means he does more damage to us, which is a bit scary. But we do be, we do get inside this now. Which is really good. We should be able to kill him pretty quickly here. We will take quite a bit of damage, but we get healed at the end of this. We'll definitely go for that. Ooh, that is enough. That is enough. We got him. We have escaped. Now we can upgrade another orb. So I guess we just upgrade our stones. Ooh, now we have some interesting stuff. We have Matra Shell, which means every ball we get gets multi-shot, but they have lower damage. We can grab attack deal two time damage, but take two damage for every 15 pegs hit. Or we've got the magnet. The magnet is going to attract our orbs to different pegs. It's very good. So we're going to take that. This puts us in a good spot for the next level, and we can continue onwards and upwards into the next area. So far, this is going really well. We're having a good run. We've got a lot of interesting stuff that works together. It would be nice to get some of the, get rid of some of our stones, though, but we need to get the events for them. So first of all, let's grab the normal crit. Very beautiful. That is a ridiculous amount of damage. That's only going to destroy his shield, though, right? Oh, no, it destroyed him as well. Okay, nice. That's good. So many refreshes on the board. Kind of crazy. But as you can see, our orb is kind of floating back towards at least a little bit. It used to be a lot stronger, but it got a bit of a nerf. The first time I ever played the game, I got it before it got a nerf, and it was quite redonkulous. But now it still does attract to them, and it still does a good amount. really good with like your dag orb and stuff because you're going to be hitting your crits more easily. Beautiful. Can't quite hit the bomb. We've got some new peg types here like ones that are fading in and out which cause some problems for us. Okay, not only did I miss the crit here but okay, no, don't worry. I got it. I got it. I got it. There you go. You're dead. We threw a bomb as well, so you're definitely dead. But even if you weren't, our hit would get would get you by far. 500 damage. So now we've got a new orb we can take, or we can heal. Um, I'm going to take the uh, Matri, this one. This one is essentially going to split into multiple different orbs. We'll check our map here to see where we want to go. Um, I think we want to go left. Yeah, I think we want to go left here. There's a, an elite and a chest. So that looks good to me. Let's give this a go. I love our little cute dude. He looks like Baby Yoda as well. Also, I hope you guys like the thumbnail. Skull did a great job on it. Um, so let's just try and go... We're not going to get any crits this way, but we might get bombs. Okay, it doesn't matter. We got crit anyways. There you go. That's not too bad. We hit a bomb and we got a lightning. And this bad boy, unfortunately, this one's in a bad spot because we can't actually hit any crits. Oh, no, no, no we don't, don't mind. We got him. I keep saying that, but then our magnet kicks in. Ooh, this 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 board is changing a lot. So this this orb is, like I said, you, it splits into two. As you upgrade it, it splits into more and more. With the magnet and the crits that we've got going on right now, it's going to be pretty potent. I did try to hit that one over there. I kind of need a refresh right now, really. It went through the center. Okay, no, we got it, we got it, we got it. It's another hit. Finishes you off, and then one more enemy to go. We can get a guaranteed crit with our dag orb here, so let's go for that. 
And that's going to be an insane amount of damage on you. As you can see, the magnetism fades off over time. That was the thing that was overpowered about before. Before, the magnetism did, didn't fade at all. So it doesn't matter where we go here, we're always going to go to the question mark. I love the music in this game as well. Music's so good. Let's have a little look here. So this is a, a new thingy. So we've got enemies don't get the extra turn after your first reload. Uh, your aim is longer and displays additional balances. Heal four when reloading. Honestly, I don't mind which one of these I get. So just take me. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I would like to go for the... Um, I would like to go for the, the chest though. So, okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Yes. Good, good. Good, good. I like that quite quite a lot. Now we can grab our chest. Detonate bombs in a single hit. Very useful. Very useful indeed. And there we go. We got our elite. So the elite here is this dude, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on that, actually. Okay, so as you can see, splits into a load more orbs. The more crits we hit and refreshes and stuff, the better. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. Holy hell. 2,600. A little bit overkill there, but I'll accept. Oh my god, it only destroyed his shield as well. That's so funny. So now we'll grab this bomb over here. There you go. And we'll grab a few crits here and there. There's so many refreshes on the board, it's insane. Okay, good. So you're 100% dead. Our elite isn't even out yet. He's coming out the door any second, though. We are going to take some damage from these arrow dudes. Our health isn't great, I will say that. Okay, let's try and get 125. We did. Nice. Yeah, our health isn't great, I will say that. So we are going to have to heal after this battle, I think. Grab that. It's just that we, we don't have any um we don't have any piercing damage. There's quite a lot of orbs that deal piercing damage, and unfortunately we don't have any of those right now. We're down to 36 health here. Yeah, this this could be rough for us actually. This could be quite rough. I think we could get quite low on health here if we're not careful. We're just unfortunately getting a lot of um low yield orbs right now. Missing our crits too. Don't miss the crits, please. Get a single crit. Come on. No. Not a single one. Doesn't even kill this guy. Okay. I think we could die here. That would be unfortunate. We just don't have anything that heals us, unfortunately. And these guys are uh, doing a lot of damage. If this, if this elite dude swings at us, we are going to die. We're 11 health already. Okay, I think we're already dead, aren't we? Yeah, not having piercing damage is pretty brutal. I probably should have taken that poltergeist a while back. That's good piercing. But like, yeah, there you go. We're dead. Unfortunate. Unfortunate end to the first episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed. We got a really interesting build going there. Um, I am going to keep it uh, as a short episode for the first one, just to see what your guys' interest in this is. If you guys want more of it, please do let me know. Um, obviously, likes and comments will definitely help with that. Um, and we'll continue this series onwards if people enjoy. I, I really do love this game. It's very, very fun. Um, and it's it, it can be quite difficult. As you can see, we had quite a good build, but we didn't have any sustain. We need to get some more healing and stuff, so maybe we'll have to build a little different next time. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.